I'm so glad summer has finally arrived. Honestly, I've been waiting to make this trip happen for several months. I got invited to this very remote village in the Udmurt Republic, Russia. It's home to a tiny ethnic group of just around 2,000 people. There is hardly any information about them on the internet, so you can imagine my anticipation to chat with them face to face and dive deep into their fascinating culture. First, I had to travel to this town in the Udmurt Republic called Glazov. It was totally new territory for me, but let me tell you, it turned out to be quite an interesting place. It used to be the capital of this region, and at some point they even discovered remnants of an ancient settlement here. The vibes in Glazov were really special, and I instantly felt a connection to this place. I'm so surprised. This street looks so nice. I feel like I'm in some touristy place, but you know, Glazov is not popular. It feels like I've come to some interesting town. <laughs> I really like these old houses. There are so many public places here. It's so cool and people are just hanging out on the streets and the streets are really nice and empty. You know that Glazov sounds kind of like glass. In Russian glass it's eye. The central square here has a shape of an eye. Here is my hotel. I'm gonna stay here tonight. This hotel looks really nice. Wow. It's a four-star hotel, but my room is not gonna be four star. Well, actually this room looks quite nice. I thought it would be worse. It's very simple, but very clean as well. So, you know, I thought that I was going to some tiny village in the middle of nowhere, but when I came here, it turned out that it's a really modern spot. I've come to this hotel and the receptionist showed me around. Some rooms here look really amazing. Wow. I'm really, really shocked. <laughs> I didn't expect this at all. Good morning. I probably look very sleepy. I've checked out of the hotel and I will go to that village I told you about. In 10 minutes I'm meeting those people that I'm gonna go with. I have no idea what kind of people they are, but we'll see. <laughs> So what I've learned about the Bisurman is that they speak a unique dialect of the Udmurt language, but it's influenced by Tatar. Even though they are part of the Udmurt community, the Bisurman actually see themselves as a distant group. Добро пожаловать наш Тулус. Тулус. А как проходить будем? Святую водичку попробуем, чтобы у всех здоровье было, счастье было, достаток вам. И скажите что-нибудь. С ноги правой вы шагаете, до желания загадайте, а чтобы не чистой сели вон уйти, будем в колокол звонить. Раз, два, три. It's so peaceful here, wow, such a beautiful place and there are a lot of springs and they are sacred springs. You can come here and uh, drink the water or have a bath. Such a beautiful place. I like the forest and these springs, the sounds of water, 
and the leaves so beautiful i'm so glad that i'm here you know <laughs> this was totally unplanned and i didn't know what to expect but all the people in the group that i'm traveling with are really nice and the visirmiani i don't even know if there is a word in english for this uh, ethnic group but they're also so friendly probably the best way to spend the weekend mm. i'm really happy очень скромные бисермяне. Они никогда грубого слова не скажут. Легкие на подъем. Легкие на подъем. Они последние дадут. Если человек в беде, в беде или что, он все равно не откажет. Они очень любят работать. И гостей встречаем. Гостей мы очень любим. Встречаем. Все, что мы можем, можем на столе предоставить. Все лакомства. А лакомств у нас у бесельмян очень много. Мы в Красной книге бесельмяне. Малочисленный народ считается. Нас надо уважать, любить, беречь. Годы год шуса вера сами дано. Ой, бены бену. Ой, бера сану. Это на бессермянском, да? Это бессермянский крейс. Это о чем? Там слов нет. Они вот про свою, да, про свою жизнь. Они вот бессермян ведь тяжелая жизнь. Это ведь вы сами их сочиняете или они передают? Нет, это бабушки. Вот они вот эти вот эти крейсы. Они их не создавали. Это у них из глубины души. Это само собой выходило, да, из сердца, как говорится, из глубины, да. I was really surprised that the villagers have prepared some entertainment for us. We joined in on village games and tried our hands at playing folk musical instruments. We've had a little lunch in the village, the traditional Bissermian pancakes, porridge and soup. The food was really simple but very delicious. Just look at this river. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. You know, it seems like the Udmurt Republic is not a very popular place for traveling, but when I go to spots like this one, I, I really don't get it. It seems like there is so much to see here. I really like places like this that are not very touristy. You can see this virgin nature, listen to the birds, look at these beautiful forests. Honestly, it was so refreshing for me to travel to this remote village, feel the connection with nature and the indigenous people of this region. Their wisdom and genuine warmth opened my eyes to a world of perspectives. These interactions touched me so deeply. Надо пудрится, румяница и бра.